Cebu Filipinas, Manila Filipinas, or Davao Filipinas. So what's the difference, and where should you be going if you're interested in dating a Filipina? So let's say you're back home, you're thinking about taking a trip to the Philippines, and you know at some point you might be interested in a relationship. So you start to think about popular areas in the Philippines, and you wonder if dating in one area offers more advantages than the other. Well in terms of location, you do have a few options. The Manila region Region, for example is extremely large and most cities are very fast paced so you will find that there are tons of Filipinas looking for all different kinds of things. There are also a lot of Filipinas who are working professionals and are simply not interested in anything serious. For instance if you use the Tinder app in Manila you'll see that there are so many Filipinas on this app. The numbers are insane. Now this is not to say that all Filipinas are looking for the same kind of thing because as we know this is not true but Manila is a fast-paced area and not everybody comes to stay here so a lot of Filipinas have got used to short-term relationships. One common issue that expats report is a difference in culture however some find that Manila Filipinas are much more western in their views which may be one of the reasons why so many expats date Manila girls. Davao on the other hand is completely different. If you are at retirement age and you are also a single guy then Davao is definitely a great region to explore. Now the thing to remember is that Filipinos in the south are slightly more traditional and it's not the best place to live if you're just looking for casual fun. Interestingly I was recently talking to a good friend of mine who was telling me his experience in Davao and he found that some women save themselves for marriage. Now in general this is not super common in the south but it does happen from time to time so it's something that I want wanted to tell you about. And if you're planning to go to Davao, you may be surprised to find out that you are the first foreign boyfriend that she's ever dated. Now Cebu is a good mixture because over the years, due to the call center boom as well as other developments, many single Filipinas have moved to the city for work purposes. Similar to Manila, Cebu is a popular city and there are also other cities such as Mandawi and Lapu Lapu. So if you're looking for something casual or you're looking for something serious, there are plenty of options. But once you are in the Philippines and you take a look at the big picture, you'll find that all Filipinas are unique. However, some areas do offer a slightly different dating experience than others. In my experience, I found Manila Filipinas to be more open and not care so much about what other people think. Whereas those in the small cities, I found to be a little bit more worried about being called a gold digger or being judged negatively. Now gentlemen, you know how much I love the Philippines and Filipinas, but I got to tell you, be careful of what you believe. I'm not sure if some Filipinas just think foreigners are stupid or something, but there's a lot of lies told when you're dating in the Philippines. Again, this is subjective and comes down to the person and not her nationality or location. Nevertheless, one of the funniest examples of being lied to was when I was dating a lovely woman from Cebu. For some reason she tried to impress her innocence on me by telling me that she was a 25 year old virgin. This doesn't impress me and actually has a reverse effect but she kept up this lie and kept going about how special it will be and how she doesn't want to use any protection the first time she does it. But in the end nothing happened and we went our own ways until three weeks later. So I needed something from the mall and I walked in and I saw her with two kids. She tried to say that she was babysitting and then eventually over text messages over the next few days she admitted that she lied to me because she didn't think I would date her if she had two kids. 